Hello guys, this is AM and welcome to the channel. In past couple of videos, we have looked at what minimum span increase are and how to construct them through Prim's algorithm. In this video, we'll be looking at yet another algorithm called Kruskal's algorithm to construct the same. Let's head to our whiteboard and see what is this algorithm is all about. Uh, let's discuss Kruskal's with the same example that we have discussed with Prim's and Prim's efficient algorithms in the previous videos. So this is the same example. So let's start with uh, the Kruskal's algorithm. So this is the pseudo code of the Kruskal's algorithm. Let's go step by step. Like Prim's algorithm, even Kruskal's algorithm is a greedy method. Kruskal's algorithm is, is based on a generic implementation of uh, construction of minimum spanning tree. So it uses a data structure called disjoint set. This disjoint set data structure. It is yet another data structure we, which we are using at right time in order to decrease the time complexity as well as so the first step of Kruskal's algorithm is to initialize the disjoint set so in the initialization of disjoint set looks like creating a different sets for each element in the graph now we also have a global set or global array which holds all the edges which are part of minimum spanning tree so let's put the data structure as a here initially the a set will be empty second part of the initialization is to sort the edges in a non decreasing order with respect to the weights or in the graph so this is the list of all the edges which are sorted in a non decreasing order now we are done with the initialization step now the actual loop invariant step starts where we iterate through each step in our non-decreasing order list first edge in that list is the edge a to b so let's consider this edge a to b and uh, let's first we have to check if the elements on the either side of the edge that is a and b belong to the same set or not so we check if a and b belong to the same set we obviously know that they are not so we have to merge these two sets to form a si single set a and b and the representative of this set will be the greater of a and b that is let's say it's b now we have to add this edge to our global set a so let's add this a comma b edge now we have to discard this particular edge from the list and choose the second best the lowest edge now is b and c so let's choose b and c now and let's check if b and c belong to the same set b and C do not belong to the same set therefore we need to merge these two to become a single set ABC and let's say the representative of ABC is C but how are we checking if A, B and C belong to the same set we do so by we check if the representative to the, of the set where the b belongs to is same as the representative of the set c belongs to so here the representative is b and here representative is c so as they are not same we conclude by saying that b and c are not the same set so we have successfully merged them and we have to add this edge to the global set a b comma c now let's discard that from our list and choose the next minimum edge the next minimum edge would be b and e so let's check that out to b and e let's see if b and e belong to the same set no so we have to merge these two it becomes A, B, C and E and let's add that to our global set A now let's discard that from the list and 
go for the next minimum edge the next minimum edge would be a and d so let's choose a and d now and let's see if a and d belongs to the same set a's representative is e and d's representative is d itself so they are not same and we have to merge them too and let's add this to our set let's loop over to the next element that is c and e c and d belongs to the same set so we have to discard that and move on b and d also belongs to the same set so we have to discard that too and finally we have d and e edge d and e elements also present in the same set so we have to discard that too and we reach the end of the loop now we are done with the algorithm and we have got all the edges which belong to the minimum spanning tree under a